that are sort of suspect, kind of older. Not really big. But there is a sign anyway. Could be a person, but let's see if we can find anything abnormal. That's pretty painful there walking on the rock, but Somebody slid down in. Uh, almost two foot down the bank. Came to a stop, but I don't see any hands. Our hands went down. Our toes down on the shore. And partial print there. Obviously print out there. There's a couple of tracks that are interesting. Came up out of the water, pretty flat. Pretty squishy, shady area. You can tell I came through there. Boom, 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 boom. Up on here. Fairly decent, not super magnificent. This one's got some pretty deep toes. Uh, and might have some rich detail. Might be worth casting just to see if what the dimensions come out to be. So that's at least a 10. Falls off into a pretty deep channel, but step length measurement. These uh, look pretty consistent, 26 inch heel to heel, which is really normal. I think I'm 28 at best, so I'd say I'm 26, but I round up to about 28. It's, that was 26. That's right in there around 26, 25, 26. Uh, same thing there, kind of shortening to 21, 22, but Probably browsing around or sneaking on something. So whoever this is appeared to come out of this sludgy inlet. Uh, come in bar. Truck his way up that point.
stuff in the measurements because I'm going to have these casts showing you the relation. The first one I cast, second one I cast, three and four. And I just sort of marked the trackway, come up through the water, through that channel, came out here, went over there. I think I showed you that already. Then it continued, it goes back the other direction. It came out and went back up into that brush and then went up the creek somewhere. So I've never been on the other side of this lake, haven't figured out how to get to the other side of this lake. So I'm gonna try that today when I get done with these. Packing it up. Took four casts out of here. This is for all you power line fans. Power lines are going right over this section. Just FYI. Head down looking for prints. Strange. I know there's coyotes here. So. Huh. Wait for my mic to catch up. The wind's blowing. Um, <clears throat> normally when I hike around, I try and pick a side of the trail. I don't walk on the trail. I walk on one side or the other because I'm looking for things on the trail. Uh, I'm also looking for things off the trail. So as I walk to the side, I actually expect to find more things. If somebody was walking the same way I was, I might see evidence of that. But anyway, what I'm saying is I try to keep to the same side or have a process each time. So typically, if I'm unsure, I don't want to damage something, I go to the right. I'm right-handed. I go right. And when I leave, I do the same thing. So I'm not crisscrossing my own footprints. Sometimes you get to looking around, you're not paying attention to what you're, where you're walking and stuff. You're exploring an area, so you're, you're mucking all around. Um, so anyway, I'm double checking. I came in here earlier with shoes. Realized that there's not going to be any mud to really cast any prints. But I decided to put my waders on, come back out, and see what was splashing all around out here, which turns out to be carp. But anyway... So I've worn two different kinds of shoes in here, my regular shoes and then my waders. Uh, there's a pretty good impression here that I don't believe was here when I first came out, and I don't think it's from my shoes because it's actually bigger than my wader boot print. That's what I'm going to check right now. So I found a patch of mud. I'm making a definite impression right now. I'm going to make a for sure impression with my boot. So, And the water's filling it in. Basically, I just want to see the beginning and the end of my boot, and it's pretty defined. There's a defined heel there. 
my heel on these waders is very deep and the arch is pronounced um, that is not my wader right there but I believe I, I just almost don't believe it was my tennis shoe either but I, it's got a hard outline I think it's me coming in earlier so both of these are just kind of looking at the length so my hip wader length is about 11 inches maybe 12 I think these waders are a 12, but the boot is larger than the sole, so the sole is what's making the impression. So it's about 11. This thing's a lot smaller. Could have been somebody else. Could have been me. I have some pretty narrow shoes. So this is like a like a nine or a 10. I'm I'm a 10 and a half wide. I don't know what kind of shoes I have there, but. Same thing. I think your sole is a little smaller than your shoe. So I'm going to guess that's about a 10, and that was probably me. And then back here, I definitely didn't see this before, but you can start to make things out of nothing in your mind. So here's this big. There's a great big impression, and it doesn't have a heel mark like my boot. And it's huge compared to my shoe. So I don't know if the front caved in. There's really no arch here. And it appears to be like it went clear to there. Kind of wider on the front. That comes out to like 13 and a half, 13. And you'd expect to see another one back here and another one moving on, but I don't. This looks like it's going the other direction. That looks like the heel. That looks like the front. That probably was me. Might not have been. That one's just peculiar. Here's my... Here's my waiter. I mean, my... I just think there'd be a hard edge right here for my heel if it was my waiter's. And I discovered this getting ready to leave, so I hadn't really walked here yet. I saw it coming this direction. But there's the top of my waiter to the heel. There it is, about 11 again. This thing's, this thing's out there a ways, but whatever. There's not enough in the toe to really cast anything. Or, interesting just a, just an observation so distinctive they're right here uh, they're real shallow and so I wasn't going to cast them but they're so distinct and very clean in the bottom that I'm going to go ahead and cast these because I have the framework to keep the casting from the so that's it that's all I took to it. and it's huge compared to my shoe <laughs> 